Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offerman with Comfy Show Video Manuals, and today's tip I want to give a shout out to Simon, who is with development and support for this awesome idea. So before I tell you what we're going to do, I want you to go on Google right now and look for the plugin or the app called Loop B1. It's available from nerds.de, and as you can see, it is a free plugin. However, if you want to use it for commercial use, which is what we use it for, it's anything after 30 days. They just ask that you order it, and when you order it, it's a very simple price of $79 for, or not, I'm sorry, of $19. And this little program is going to change your mind or your life. It's going to be great. So let's swing over to CompuShow. Now, this is not MIDI over IP. It is just MIDI over the or It's going to transfer MIDI from one app to another app. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that program and transfer MIDI signals from CompuShow to QuickShow. This is not a MIDI splitter where I can take signals from my MIDI con and send some to CompuShow, send some to uh, quick show. This is a pass through with two way communication. And as you can see here, it's already running in the background. That's it. There's zero configuration. You just install it, run, good to go. So, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my software preferences and I want to make sure that the loop B is running. So, there it is right there loop B on MIDI in and then loop B on MIDI out. And then I'm going to go to Quick Show and do the same thing. Now, if you're using Arceus Grand VJ or Media Master, and maybe you don't want to do Artnet, for example, on Media Master, because maybe you don't have an Artnet dongle or anything like that, this is a good way to control it as well. So we're going to go to our MIDI settings here, and I'm going to select Loop B Internal MIDI. I am not going to choose it for the output because I just want one way communication with Quick Show. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now, you can make your own remote control. For example, this is actually one I made uh, when we were doing the ADJ live learning series. I made that just to show people what you can do with virtual console. So you can make your own or you can attach it to a pre-made one. Now in this case, I want to have I want Quick Show to basically be controlled with the MIDICon. So I'm gonna go on my MIDICon Pro, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose MIDI device settings. This little tab is going allows me to basically address everything to its device name and the index so my MIDICon Pro will not conflict with the MIDICon or the cord or whatever else I have up. And on MIDI input, I just have MIDICon Pro. On MIDI output, I'm gonna have the MIDICon Pro and the loopy internal MIDI. And I added that just by clicking on the star and then I clicked on loop B internal MIDI and I left it on index one and I'm done. Now that I've done that, now I just need to map this thing. So I'm going to go, for example, to MIDI shortcuts. There's the blackout. I'm just going to click on learn and then I'm going to click on the blackout button of my MIDI con. Bam, there it is. And I'm going to click OK. So when I click blackout on the MIDI con, it blacks out on that. Now, quick show blackout dumps the scene, which you can change the behavior of that, but I just have it set as that. Uh, let's say, for example, again, just so you can see, there's a real cool uh, Star Trek one, and then I click it and it goes away. But because Combu Show with the MIDICOM Pro and pretty much any MIDI device is set for two way MIDI, it's, it allows me to send, when I click this button, see how it changes the button here? Well, that means that there's going to be MIDI coming back to the MIDICON because the MIDICON is set to go out to Quick Show, then it's going to do the same thing. So let's say for example I have the flying bats here and I click on my all blackout that I made, bam, it cancels that out. So what would be cool about that is that I can, whether I'm using again Arceus Grand VJ or if I'm using Quick Show or anything like that, I could just go ahead and have, let's say for example Starfields with a slow song. And whenever I click on my program for maybe a slow song, right, or maybe like the head table, I click that and then, bam, something appears right away. Now, this does come pre-mapped with some basic stuff, which is why you're seeing different things appear. But it gives you an idea of what you can do there. Now, of course, that's also mapped here. So if I click that. So this is not being mapped to the scenes. What's happening is... This has a MIDI trigger, which is triggered through the MIDI con, and the MIDI con also triggers that scene. So when I click that scene, it feeds back to the MIDI con pro, and the MIDI con pushes that MIDI signal to 
the quick show program or whatever else you choose. And of course, Loopy E does have multiple MIDI ports, uh, and it does support multiple programs from what I understand. So this means that I could also have my Arcaeus uh, Media Master or Grand VJ, and I could have page 15 control the let's say uh, video program and 16 can control laser show so again that is loop be through the website nerds.de super exciting feature I know you guys will be stoked about this and if you guys have any questions you know how to get a hold of me thank you guys so much good night and God bless